Hello everyone, Garnet here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on Aberration. In between episodes, I took some time and ran around trying to find some Ravagers that had the mineral bearing trait. Unfortunately, despite all the time I spent, I did not find any that I was actually able to tame and collect the trait from, but uh, I did find a pretty good pair of Gilly Gauntlets while I was out, so I have those equipped now. I ended up breeding up the perfect male Cosmo, so I have the perfect pair up and running right now. I also leveled up Roy quite a bit on the Megalosaurus eggs, and uh, in the process I ended up leveling myself to the point where I can actually create a Zeppelin. Which leads us to why we are on the roof today. I just crafted one up because I had enough resources to do it, and <laughs> there we go. Oh no, that's actually not what we want. Hold on. I didn't realize that it would uh, fall straight to the ground. <laughs> what does it need for fuel? That's concerning. There is a Spino right there. Can I, uh... Does it just use gasoline? I assume it does. Hold on. Alright, I may have to lure this thing away. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would just be fine in the air by by default. What level are you, Spino? Of course you're a 130 female. So you're not just any low-level Spino. I'm sure that if I go down on that thing now, we're going to get hit by something. So I may specifically have to lure her away. This kind of gives me an opportunity to use the new weapons that I wanted to try out before we headed over to the cave, which was kind of the plan after that. I want to see how much damage this bow does with the metal arrows. Whoa! That did quite a bit of damage. And she's gone. <laughs> okay. That was part of the plan then. I definitely meant to drop my Zeppelin straight to the ground where a bunch of Spinos are. That's definitely what happened. So here, there's the gas. I'm assuming that that's what we need to get this thing up and going. Fuel 700, fantastic. Okay, so if I hold space, it'll take off like any flyer. Holy crap, we are on a Zeppelin. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. But it has finally happened. Okay, so... What I meant to have happen there... <laughs> can I back it up, actually? Oh, you can back it up. That makes sense. What I meant to do for this was to have it kind of just be floating in the air on the roof. But that was just dumb of me to assume that it would already just stay floating. Should have known that it needed fuel. But the amount of room that I have on the roof should be perfect for me to actually just land this thing. Fantastic. This is actually really cool. I really like the look of this. The whole wheel and everything looks so nice. I could actually probably be parking that a little bit more forward. Like right here. If I could land this if I could line this up perfectly, I should be able to just walk on. Oh yeah, just like that. Amazing. I was hoping that that would work out that way. I love that. I love that so much. Oh, you can extend the ladder? What? <laughs> and then I'm assuming I can then retract the ladder. Does it only go that far or does it go low? Does it go higher than that? I must know. And then I tell it to deploy the ladder. How far down does it go? Holy crap. Does it just keep going? That's crazy that that goes enough where I could actually reach. I'm sure there's some sort of limit to that, right? That is insane, actually. Alright, well. Awesome. We got ourselves a Zeppelin, and I'm very happy to be able to kind of test this thing out today. I'm hoping that maybe I can take this down to the blue zone and kind of have it hang out up above the blue cave, and we can hop down on Roy. So maybe we'll kind of go down here real quick. Land. Get our boy Roy onto the, onto the Zeppelin. Maybe actually I can just pull this up right to the back door. I don't know if Roy can fit through a normal door, but we can we can check it out. Backing on up. Make sure we're looking forward, and we back it on up with the K mode. And we go up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Straight out the back door. Okay, hold on. <laughs> K 
Can you fit out a normal door, door, Roy? I have not tested this. Yes, you can. Fantastic. Load it up on the Zeppelin. <laughs> we can take off and go from here. I may want to bring the light pet. Just in case. We'll try to bring Silva also. I'm sure we're all topped off on stuff. Considering we're going into a cave that is in the dark, I should probably have Silva on us the whole time. And I guess I probably won't need to use Noir. You stay here, buddy, and protect the house, okay? We are going to go and try to take over this cave. So the reason I was bringing both these weapons, by the way, both the bow and the crossbow, is because the, uh, the cave down there... Oh, you know what? I actually have to probably bring a... I'm going to bring some actual... Uh, Grappling hooks? I can't use grappling hooks on this map, can I? Hmm. So I know at the beginning of Vibration being released that the climbing picks had a problem with potentially deleting your character on certain angles. Uh, I've heard that that has been fixed so far. So I'm actually going to take a couple pairs of these down with me into the cave. Because I know that there's a section there that I'm going to have to use to kind of get down to another part. And uh, since I'm not going to be able to bring Noir or use any grappling hooks in there. I definitely am going to need... Oh, that does not stay up flying forever. Oh my gosh, hold on. Hey, 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 hold on. I guess I have to kind of move it up a little bit every now and then. So that means that I can't leave it in the same spot I was planning to while going into the cave. Because I was planning on having it just float up above the area and just kind of come out to it when I'm done. That does change plans a little, but not a lot. We'll still make this work. I'm sure that I can make that happen. Uh, we're actually going to just drop everything that you are currently carrying. You don't really need you to hold on to that. We've got the climbing picks. We've got the weapons. And so, like I was saying, the reason that I'm bringing the bow weapons, and as well as my rifle going into the cave, is because there's a potential for Karkonos in there. And uh, they are weak to the projectiles. Um, they're weak to the sharp projectiles versus using the rifle. Kind of like we tried to test out with the harpoon gun a little while ago. I'm going to kind of head off and see how this goes. I do know that the Zeppelins can't really go into the red zone because they have uh, they do get the radiation over time. I read that from a patch note. But I'm pretty sure they'd probably be okay going into the blue zone. The only thing is I've got to keep an eye out on why does this have experience? That's weird. I'm just going to have to keep an eye out on the fuel Make sure everything's going to be clean there. And then, you know, we'll be able to go and try to take care of this cave. I would love to get this cave taken care of today. Make ourselves some progress. But if you find yourself enjoying this one today, please make sure that you remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave a comment below on how you feel about this series and about how you feel about Zepl Zeppelins being added to Aberration. I think it's a very interesting addition, but uh, I'm sure that not everyone feels that way. So let me know down there. Oh, when you're actually driving it in first person, you can actually... Everything turns. That's amazing. I like that a lot, actually. So we're going to have to go this way. We've got a blue drop over here, looks like. How are we doing on fuel? Okay, we haven't gone out on any yet. That's good. I don't see anything specifically next to this. I think I'm going to have to set up the clap thing again, though. Let's see. Yep. And let's clap. There we go. Got the light on that we need. Oh crap. This was a bad spot to go. Yikes. Well, it seems that I'm not actually taking any damage right now. I'm taking a little bit of damage, but that should go away. I don't have any mushrooms on me, which is a mistake. So that is literally one of those zones. I can actually kind of see the amount of sparkles up above that now that I've gone through it. It's a horrible mistake to go through that without... Uh, being a little bit more prepared on my part. My bad. I should probably try to land somewhere and get some mushrooms and stuff. But if I actually eat when I can, I will heal. Can't hit me with an earthquake when I'm in the air, Rockwell. Just can't do it, man. Just can't do it. I'm going to get knocked out on my ship. Maybe we want to try to land somewhere over here, just in case. Yep, I had a feeling that that might happen. Please go down, Torpidity. Still raising a little bit. 
I'm a little bit concerned about this. I should have been wearing my other... I should have been wearing my hazmat suit just in case. Oh, damn it. Okay, well, it seems like the torpidity is going back down and my mushroom status has gone away. So we're actually not taking damage anymore. Hopefully, I stay... I end up waking up before the zeppelin falls to the ground. It seemed like when it was going down before, it was going slowly. So I shouldn't have to worry about it going down too quick. There we go. Holy crap. Well... <laughs> Good to know. At least I can continue flying this thing around if I get hit by those spores again. I hope that I don't, though. That is not the ideal situation. So we should be coming up on the destination very soon. In fact, that might be it just right there. That looks like a big hole in the water. <laughs> yep. So my main concern here, because I'm going to have to land the Zeppelin somewhere. I don't see anything right here that's going to cause us any problems if I land right on this bit. Hopefully that'll stay that way. We should be fine. Man, I really hope so. Okay. So we've made it to the blue cave. We've got Roy. I've leveled him up to level 292, which is a good 52 levels on top of what he had before. 10,000 health and 800 and almost 40% damage. Um, so I think we kind of are as ready as we're going to be at this point in time. Let's just see... Hopefully we don't have anything too horrible to deal with down here. I didn't bring us I didn't bring any scuba gear, so hopefully I don't have to use any, but uh guess there's always that potential. Let's just kind of go for it and see what we have to expect going forward in here. I really hope there isn't a Karkonos in the middle of the pathway on the way down this thing, because there can be, and that's that ends up being the worst problem. But and I hope you guys don't get dizzy, I apologize. Kind of going in circles with a berry is the best way to descend. Consistently. Man, that the colors on this area is, are crazy. Love the oranges and blues when it comes to this, uh, this water part here. I'm a little bit concerned about my oxygen, but maybe we'll be okay. I guess there's a top right here. We may have the same kind of issue to, to run into uh, in the first cave, where since this is single player and I've never been in here, I may not be able to... Like, there may not be very many creatures right off the bat, but I guess we'll see. Ooh, we're kind of stuck. There we go. We got through. Holy crap. Okay. That's right. So I would have needed the climbing picks either way. So I did bring a cryopod, right? Yes, I did. Okay, good. I'll be able, I'm will be. i going to need to put Roy away on the way out of here so I can climb back up out of this. I kind of forgot about this section. I'm glad that I made those anyway. Because if I didn't bring Noir, I would have had to turn back. Okay, well... Here goes nothing. <laughs> what, else, what else do we have to do down here, eh? Okay, maybe I can get through this first section without being bombarded by stuff if nothing's here. I don't have to go in this, right? I think this was an optional thing. That just has a couple things in it. It's this way that I really do have to go. Past all the blue crystals. Man, it is it is pretty in here. I'm pretty sure there should have been a lot, of, a couple things by now. And I may have more of a problem on the way out, like I said. Okay, I can hear some stuff now. Unless that's just Barry. I mean Roy, sorry. Holy crap. Oh my god. That is so cool looking. Holy hell. Oh man, the first time that I ever came through this cave, I just used a glide suit right here and dove straight down to where I need to go. Which, I think that's going to kind of be what we try to do here, just with some climbing picks. But, um, that's insane looking over there. Oh my god. I like that a lot. I very much enjoy that. Um, alright. What is the best plan here? Because I know that the cave... Oh... I guess we've just started downward. Hopefully, I know that the cave actually goes through this part. Am I going to land in here just in time? Am I not going to fall down too far? Okay, good. I didn't even know you could actually just walk your creature down here. I thought that I had to kind of do the, the trick of using the glide suit to get down to this bit. 
You don't have to do that, I don't think. There might be a way to actually walk down here as far as I know, but... Uh, I know that there's another bit here I have to go underwater, and I'm, hopefully there's nothing too bad in here. Honestly, it seems like it's just going to be another cakewalk. But I may be able to get the artifact and get out of here with very minimal opposition. Oh, I could have actually just jumped all the way down and been in here. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. There might be stuff in the water now. I think I see a jellyfish. I'm not positive. Oh no, I see an anglerfish. And a couple... Oh! Eels. Okay. So there's the first round of creatures that are in this cave. No big deal though, luckily. I mean, they're literally in the water. I can just do this. Kind of knock them out. One at a time. I think there would normally there would be a lot more potential scary stuff. Okay, in the air is where we're going to have the eels and the problems. I still don't have any scuba, which I told, which I said is the, the main problem that we're going to have here. I was prepared with most stuff, but apparently not that one thing. I feel like we're normally supposed to do more. We we're supposed to do more damage than that. Oh, there we go. There's the real damage. All right. I do have my crossbow for stuff like this, though. So I can at least kind of get a... Oh, I missed. Shoot. <laughs> well, you're stunned. You can't do much more than that. We've kind of stunned each other. I guess as long as I take this one bit at a time, we'll be able to uh, get through this. Hopefully there isn't anything too scary. Oh, there's a jellyfish. That's what I'm mostly concerned about. I don't want to actually get shocked by one of those. So let's take care of that right now. Okay, cool. <laughs> Actually turns out to be totally fine. I didn't know how much health they're going to have. Now that they're all kind of without levels, it does make a difference. Oh, I got to go back. I am drowning. Oh, come on, Barry. Come on, Roy. Let's get out of here before I die. Come on, Roy. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, that was really dumb. We're going to have to hang out here for a minute and make sure I get full heal fully healed, which may end up spawning more things. Trying to be as high up as I can before we go. Hopefully I don't have to run into... I don't end up running into anything too bad down here. I think as long as we're quick, I should be able to get through here without the need of this. Or the need of any scuba. If this ends up being my downfall, then it is definitely my own fault. That's what I get for not bringing all the gear that I might need. Oh, there's an air pocket right here. Oh no, this is the end of it already. Okay, we got another eel. Alright. I knew I could make it through that without needing to worry about it too much. Freaking eels in their lowering of my attack. There is a Carcanos! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I knew that that might be a problem. We also have Seekers here. But luckily, I think we do enough damage. We should be able to kill them before they heal off my light pet stuff. Oh, man. Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad that there's actually stuff in here. I mean, as, as stressed as I sound while I'm trying to fight this stuff, I... It's a lot better than if I have to sit here and be like, Sorry, I should have been more stuff next time, I promise. <laughs> Come on, Seeker. There we go. So what level is this Karkonos, by the way? Is it really high level? 110 carefree. Uh, if you're carefree, maybe we'll just leave you alone for now. We'll just kind of try to move this way and see what we run into instead. I'd rather not have to use my metal arrows if I can help it. Alright, let's see. So says that there's a max level something somewhere. I know that there's more. I have to go through more water right there. Hopefully I can make it through that one. Also, I did see a jellyfish there, though, right away. So we'll see if that's going to be a problem for us. I'm going to kind of just go through this cave some more. I want to see if there's any potential drops. That's something that I'm really hoping for. But uh, much like the creatures in general, drops for a single player arc runner can be a little bit more difficult to run into. I feel like there was a optional section that's behind a rock. Is it this? I don't normally bring my tools into, into caves and stuff like this, but I remember this one being a thing. Jeez, I'm seeing through a lot more than I really should, I think, over here. Optional section. Ooh, there is a drop in here. Is that just a white drop, though, or is that purple just without the color? It looks a little weird, but... Ooh! Is that better than the one he's on? He's got on right now. 
It is better than the one he's got on right now. How does that happen? Thank you, Art Gods. <laughs> Speak of the drops, and you end up finding one that you, uh... You end up finding one that gives you something you need. Is there another breakable rock here that I can hit to get moving forward? Yes. Sneaky little cave stuff. We'll let those disappear so I can actually see what's on the other side of this wall. Oh my gosh, it was right up here. That's crazy! Well, I'm definitely glad that I checked back there. Okay, so I know I already came up from here. I'm going to try to take care of some of the creatures down in the water, I think, while I'm up on this perch. Especially that jellyfish. Is that an eel or a berry? Oh, that's a berry! I didn't even realize that they could be in this cave. That's actually kind of scary. They can stun me just as well as I can stun them. Maybe we will take care of this Karkonos just because I don't want it to end up turning on me unexpectedly. Okay, I don't know why I thought I had to aim that high up. That's quite a bit of damage even on a Karkonos. I think being back where I am, I don't think it can get to me. I could be wrong, and I probably am. Let's run! <laughs> as long as you don't grab me, I don't care. Can you, uh, are you trying to get around there? I don't know if you can. Maybe we should just shoot your claws while we have a chance. Okay, there we go. He's taken care of. Don't have to worry about him anymore. Good times had by all. I'm going to switch to my gun again and kind of come around this corner where that berry is. Where'd that berry run off to? I'm not going underneath that water until I know that thing's gone. Oh, frog. My gosh, looking in that water, it's just very fuzzy looking. Oh, here you are. Bye! <laughs> okay, what else is underneath this wall? Okay, there's eels. That scared me a little bit. I knew I took care of the jellyfish, but still, that freaked me out a little. Kind of give us some space. You can come up so far. Crazy eels. Blood drain. What? From what? In the water. Oh. No? No idea. For a second I thought it was a lamprey. I don't know what's draining my blood unless there was a uh, vampiric one in there. Which I guess that could be the that could be the reason it's like this. Okay, I'm seeing just that. Just seeing some Demetrodons. Not as scary. Okay, well we've got an anglerfish. That's also not a problem. Silly anglers. Oh, eel. Okay. That's fine. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think there is still an angler that's potentially mad at me. Okay, there is a lamprey down there. I don't know if that's going to do anything to our berry at all. It might leave me alone. Stupid anglerfish. Too many of you. You're not doing anything to me. <laughs> Just being a nuisance. Thank you. Um, maybe I should leave the lampreys alone. Make sure that I'm topped off on my on my oxygen. In fact, I'm gonna go and top off on the food. It'll probably heal me all the way as well. Stay above the water as long as we can. Okay, looks like we gotta dive down again a little bit. Come on, nothing scary. Come on, nothing scary. I don't even remember the specific path. Maybe just kind of go straight past the jellies, which is also kind of scary in general, but you know what? As long as they don't hit me, we're fine. Oh, that's not good. The eels don't make that easy. Just keep moving. Just don't let the jelly hit me. Just don't let the jelly hit me and we're fine. Oh, <laughs> God, I hate that one. I hate that section there, and I'm going to have to worry about the jellyfish on the way back. But uh, what we are at the artifact, it's just right up in there. Just got to get up around the side here. Looks like we just have seekers to deal with, and that is not the biggest problem that I can deal with. 
But it doesn't look like there's anything else too bad around here. Just gonna wait for the uh, earthquake to stop before we hop down in the water. Or, I mean, off, off the off of Roy. There we go. Perfect. Give me that artifact. Yoink. Second artifact already collected. Let's go. Uh, maybe we'll take a second to kind of try to shoot some stuff that's gonna be on our in our way for our way out. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I think I was a little bit lucky on remembering the specific path through that last little bit, even though there were jellyfish there. Oh, hello, Nameless. I even have my light pad on. Are you really trying to kill me right now? Well, okay then. I don't even need to go in this little body, water body of water over here. I think there might be a potential drop spawn right there. Are you stuck in the water? Here we go. Maybe we'll turn off the light for a minute. Oh, it undid it already? How did it undo it already? Maybe because it, I got knocked out? That's weird. Okay, we'll turn the light off for a second and then back on. Just gotta balance that whole thing. Depending on who you're fighting. These guys aren't even gonna try to attack me, but... Kinda just want them out of the way so nothing can potentially cause me problems. Alright, where are the jellyfish? I see one right there. Let's try to kill it before I have to get back in the water. Was that an eel or something I shot instead? So I feel like that should have killed the jellyfish. Alright, can I get the bee eel's attention really quick? That didn't take long for that one to find me. Rude. Is there actually one over by me though? Oh yeah, there is. Shoot blindly into the water. Towards the glowing orange marks. There's actually quite a few of them down there in that little pit. We've got a couple of those cleared out. Oh, there's another one over here that decided to finally get angry at me. I knew you were there the whole time. I don't know why you decided just to come after me then. Alright, uh, let's just kind of get the lay of the land here before I just book it, maybe? I know I have to go past that jellyfish. Uh, let's just go. We're already down here. As long as that jelly doesn't hit me, then I think we're okay. No? Oh, it's this way. <laughs> okay. Uh, should just, it could be a lot less stressful if I had actually just brought what I was supposed to bring. Any kind of scuba at all. Is that one alive? Oh, that one's alive. And there's another Karkonos in here again now. Come on, just get the land. Just get the land. Thank you. Hello, what are you? 55 frenetic Karkonos. Um, let's just kind of lighten our load a little bit. And just kind of book it out and around. Excuse me, Depocalus. You are in my way there, little dude. Hey, goodbye. <laughs> oh, hey, Barry. Lovely. I'm going to do another little laugh real quick, because I want to see if there's any loot that showed up now. It's kind of what you got to do. You can run in and grab the artifact. It's the way out that's the, that's the real fight in most of these for single player. Which is going to make it very interesting trying to climb up that wall using, using the climbing picks. But it is what it is. Hopefully two is enough. These ones. The thing is still gone. Any drop back here? Doesn't look like it, no. Dang. Okay. At least there was the one. We really lucked out on on its contents as well. A slight upgrade to what Roy's wearing, about what Roy is wearing. All right. Let's take care of this other berry because that is definitely guarding our way out of here. Boop. I'm not going in deep enough water for you to use your ability on me. Sorry. That was a one thirty. Not bad. Feeling like I'm going to have to make sure that I kind of bait out what's waiting for us out in the middle of this water. Since there was nothing on the way in, I already see a jellyfish now. There's an eel over there. I can't quite get to me, though. Don't go enough in the water that I can't shoot. Ah, sh I'll shoot. 
If I'm at the surface of the water, even on the back of a creature, okay, cool. Good to know. I just wanted to know if I could actually do that. Turns out I can. can kill this eel before it has a chance to hit me. We're going to have to whittle stuff down bit by bit. Poke my head underneath. Get an idea of what we're what to expect going forward. It doesn't help that the berry is so much taller than I am. I see a bunch of eels for sure. Yep. Cool. Honestly, this is the cave that I am the most worried about. <laughs> so if I just kind of take it small bit at a time, we should be able to get out of here with very little problems. I'm sorry, Frog. I didn't mean to kill you. I was just trying to get the eels. He stepped in front of his mouth, man. How am I supposed to stop that? All right. That eel is swirling around like crazy. If I can just hit it for a second, it'll come up here. What was that? Oh, anglerfish. For a second, I thought it was a piranha. I didn't think those were down here. I should be able to kill this. Okay, and now the eel comes after me. Eels? Multiple? Maybe? I'm gonna have to get up and get some air after this, though. Probably drop some more fish meat. Gotten heavy again. Holy crap. More eels on me? Okay. At least you're coming to me. I appreciate your, uh... I appreciate everything you're trying to do there. I think we might be relatively clear to go now. I just have to kind of get a good running start, I think. It's going to be our best bet to avoid death. Alright, let's go. Let's just book it. Oh, I do see a jelly. But if I keep clear of that, I'll be fine. There's also a berry down there. That's actually really bad. It's a really scary thing to have in a cave like this. Just keep moving. Try not to get hit by anything. We're going to get zapped by an eel. Just don't be the jellyfish. That's fine. We just get up to the surface. Let's go. Oh, golly. That's, that's terrifying. <laughs> that was terrifying. Seeing that berry, actually, I was just holding my breath, waiting for that thing to end up seeing me. <sighs> but I'm glad that we didn't end up running into that guy <laughs> at all. Uh, pretty soon here, I'm going to have to be putting Roy away. Did I hop down to this from a higher section? Why do I feel like... Where did I come down from? Oh, I did hop down from up there. I'm going to have to climb up a lot more with my picks than I had initially thought, maybe, if I can't climb up this. I'm going to assume that I can't. Given the weird incline that this thing has. Oh, maybe I can if I just sit here and jump a bunch of times. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, cool. So we made it up here that first bit then. Oh, jeez. And this is where I jumped down to initially. Little dung beetle, hello. So I'm pretty sure this is the part where I'm supposed to climb up with a climbing pick. And get up to the top of this section. Uh, what are you holding on to that I want to keep? I definitely want to keep the biotoxin, the black pearls, and the oil. Honestly, the rest of this I could find in any other situation and not have to be too worried about it. So we're going to drop all this. I'm going to pick you up. And then we're going to uh, use the climbing picks, which is, you know, something that I've still been advised not to do. I'm just going to have to do it to get out of here. So hopefully they did fix it and nothing goes wrong with my stuff. Because that would be awful. Oh, no, and I already fell down. Crap. <laughs> That's not good at all. Climb. Climb. Now I'm going to have to waste my stuff even more than I thought I was going to have to. Okay, we might be fine. I remember these things using a lot more durability before every use than they do. They seem to now, which is great. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Why did it jump up there and then just drop me? Ugh. <laughs> okay. I know I'm going to need at least a pair to climb up that other section as well when we actually get out of here, so I don't want any of this to act too funky, funny. What was that with the camera? That was horrible. When it phases through stuff like that, it makes me nervous. Alright, keep going. Keep going. That's the thing over there, right? That's where I'm going? Alright, so 
be careful. Keep doing green. We don't want to do the blue just yet. Now we want to do the blue. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> One section done. Using the climbing picks. Even though it still did terrifying things that made me feel like it was going to just kind of stop working for me. But okay, it's fine. We are up here. We just need to get through this last bit. I really hope nothing has spawned in this first area, but things could have by now. And uh, I can't get the berry out just yet because if I throw them out here, I'm going to have to wait five minutes to get them back out at the top of the climb. So fingers crossed I don't need them right now. I'm not seeing a bunch of stuff over here yet. <laughs> I'm just seeing a snail. I think we may have lucked out on this room, honestly. Okay, great. <laughs> we just use the climbing picks to get out of here. Just don't land in the water, because that's where all the, the baddies are again. Hello, eels. All right, and that's the section right over there, so we'll climb up over that part. Ooh, I almost slipped in the water anyway. <laughs> okay. Climbing picks again. They didn't, they didn't destroy me last time. Fingers crossed they won't destroy me again. Also, fingers crossed that I can make it to the top with this one set. And that I just made an extra set and I didn't end up needing them. That would be a much better outcome. Can I do a little bit more green? We're literally doing this on a shaky time. Oh, that was awful. Well, we're probably going to have to use the other set now. Freaking earthquake, the worst time. Okay, Earthquake is over. Let's try this again. Well, let me try this again. Okay, for a second there, it wasn't even trying to climb. Get ourselves out of here. The best way I know how. Just using a tool that is still very iffy at the moment. <laughs> That's the only way I can do this right now. Okay, we are at the top. Perfect. Let's go this way. We're going to have to get Roy out here in a sec, and by in a sec I mean literally right now. I don't... Let's see, am I going to be able to get this out of this hole if I jump in myself? I just want to make sure there's nothing waiting for me in here. And it looks like we're probably okay. The only other concern is the other side while trying to leave. Okay, Roy, let's do this. Let's go. Fingers crossed there's no one waiting on the other side of this crack of the wall. Holy crap. I'm actually very surprised. <laughs> just keep going. Keep going up. Let me just get back up to the Zeppelin. We can fly right out of here and we don't have to worry about going to this cave. I'd say ever again. Uh, let's just say not often enough. <laughs> We've already been here enough. I don't want to have to do this again for a long time. Oh, man. Such a stressful cave, and there are berries and stuff up here. I just need to get up and get and secure the artifact. I do not want to worry about running into any other creatures while we're down in this blue zone. No thank you. Now, what is the way up here? I think it's on the other side of this. If I go on this bit, there's a little beach connection. Yes, please, get out of here. <laughs> Lovely. You know, that could have gone a lot worse. That haircut could have gone a lot worse. And I definitely can chalk this up to mostly single player being a little bit calm the first time you ever try to do a cave. But uh, you know what? I will take it. I'll take it gladly. I'm going to end up having to do this again on the community server soon enough. And uh, it will be a lot less easy. I can tell you that much. Okay. We're not going to fall for that again. That would definitely get us killed at this point. So let's stay low. No more spores in my face, please. And thanks to our shiny new Zeppelin, we're able to kind of escape out of the blue zone unharmed and totally fine. This is such a really cool addition. At the same time, I do feel like it's a little bit weird for Aberration, considering you really don't get any flyers or anything on this map. But, um, at least with the fact that when you full, first pull it out, it just falls to the ground. It's not just immediately flying already. I don't know. I mean, you have to make sure it's fueled. You have to keep that in mind, so... 
I don't know. I think this will be really cool. And like, and since you can't really take it to the red zone and everything without it getting damaged, it does kind of at least just help just kind of with the middle bits of the map. So I'm not going to complain about it. I think it's a really cool thing. Really fun thing as well. All right. So first things first, we're pulling on up to the base. I'm going to flip around, I think. Try to back ourselves back up and put Roy inside without uh, any problems. We can back it up. Back it up, back it up, back it up. I'll raise it a little, then stop there. That should hopefully be a clean ramp for Roy. Oh, we can climb right on top of the balloons. There we go. We have made it back home safe and sound with the new artifact in tow. I'm actually going to leave him right up here. I'm going to place the artifact, and then we'll park the zeppelin on the roof, because if I leave it there, obviously it will just kind of sink down. But... Bam! There we go. We've got ourselves two of the three artifacts for this map, and uh, I think that went relatively smoothly. No deaths, nothing lost. That could have gone a lot worse for sure. I'm going to park this thing up on the roof. Kind of the way that I had it before. Right there. That's where we want to land. Should be a smooth transition onto the roof. That's a little bit smooth. It's not perfect. That will do, though. We have ourselves a Zeppelin, and we have it parked perfectly on our roof. <laughs> Love it. Fantastic. I don't have Noir now that I think about it, though, so I'm probably just going to have to jump down from the roof on this side. Does that stick through the roof at all? Not really. I kind of thought it might a little bit. I mean, yes, there's some stuff right here. But that's not bad. So another thing that I unlocked in the process of getting the Zeppelin is it is the clock. I don't know if I have everything that I need to make it right now. I may have to go travel and grab... Oh, it's just crystal. That's very easy. Let me grab some of that real quick. Okay, so now, with Banshee's help, I should have everything that I need to actually make this clock. I'm really curious exactly what it's going to do for me. The description on it does say it requires electricity to activate, manipulates time to increase the speed of nearby structures. Now, I don't know exactly which structures. I don't know if it means the crafting stations, if it means the forge. I don't know. All I do know is I... Oh. I was going to say is I don't know where to put it. But honestly, I think that's a pretty good spot. Oh. Okay, well. Yeah, I'm not going to complain about that. So we have this here. So if I activate this... Is there, like, any other options for this? Enable auto boost activation. Change affected structure type from all. Show range. What is the range for this thing? Ooh. It seems to be pretty much as big as the generator range. So it should cover everything that I have in my in my base. I'm going to shut the door. It should cover everything that I have in my base. So does that mean literally everything will be able to be crafted quicker? It doesn't actually change time itself, does it? Uh, let's see. Let's turn off the range. So, turn on. So the actual time of the game obviously seems to be fine. Boost available in... Le oh, so it has, a, it has a boost for a while. How long does that last for? I mean, I don't really have any metal to check on right now. Does it work for just crafting stuff in general? So if I were to try to make... Oh, I don't know. Another lamp. If we try to make a lamp real quick... That does feel significantly faster. I was I was thinking about putting lamps in the back of the house as well, so I figured I may as well just craft them this way. Now, how about this? Is this making any more? How about I grab some spark powder? Grab from the mortar and pestles. I mean, you can actually visibly see that moving forward, where a lot of the time, considering how long it takes, you don't. That is interesting. That feels pretty much the same. I don't know. I don't know what kind of, of structures this does exactly. But it does feel cool to have right there. And I do feel like, despite not having that be the plan, having that right on the way out the door is kind of a cool spot for it. How about the uh, chemistry bench? I have a lot of gunpowder in here, as you can see. Uh, if I wanted to make even more... Let's see. Let's, let's have it make a hundred sets of this. Oh, that feels really fast, actually. Quite fast. Does it say anything about the specifics? I don't think it does. I mean, you could turn it to have it so it just automatically does it every time it can. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea inside of a base like mine. 
because everything is within range. I don't think it hurts. I don't think it would hurt to have that happen at all. I'm going to go place these things in the back of the house like I was planning. There we go. Cool. Now I have lights in the back of the house, too. I always meant to have those there. I just kept forgetting to make them. That gave me a perfect opportunity to do so. Man, looking up that, at this area is really cool now, though. So we've got the green artifact, the blue artifact. We just need to get the pink or red artifact. And we'll have all three of those together right above the clock face and everything with the new structures. Oh, that looks... That looks beautiful. Anyway. Oh, shoot. Did I forget to have him actually grab the eggs? I could have sworn I told him to grab... Oh, I forgot to turn them on. Well, that was a mistake. Now we've got multiple ones in here. Let me just see if any of these have the 242. There is a 242 in here. If it has 242, it might have the another mutation on top for melee. It doesn't. Okay. I already know that it's already 337. So if it's not higher than that, then we won't worry about it. Uh, oh, there's a couple 242s here as well. How about you fellas? No. All right. Shoot. And they're twins, so they're going to be the same. Okay. Well, despite making a mistake here, this is definitely going to help somebody level up a little bit. I'm going to grab Gale. Gale will at least be able to take care of these guys pretty quick. So those are all cleaned up. I'm surprised that there isn't a baby Cosmo just wandering around. Honestly. If I accidentally left those. We do have the perfect ones here, as I mentioned. Maybe it did stay okay. So we do have three of those in there and then one of those. Okay. That is fine. I didn't really touch up on it either, but I did move the way that these guys are. This way, I can get the mail in and out and I can change which one we have plugged in for the mutation line. And, uh... I, uh, I did get the colors all put together. Uh, I don't really want to show that off quite yet. We'll kind of bring that off down the line. But I just want you guys to know that I at least do have that all put together now. But I think we're going to leave that one there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe that we can have something crazy like this in Ark. The Zeppelin is such an interesting addition. And I'm so glad we were able to get the second artifact today so we can make that crazy progress. But if you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you've got anything to bring up about this series or any other one on the channel, let me know in the comments below. If you want to help contribute to the channel a little bit more as well, we do have links for Patreon and Coffee. You can also become a YouTube member, all of which gives you full access to our community cluster of servers for ARC. We currently have the Island, Scorched Earth, and Aberration all up and running. And I've been having a blast over there in my free time, and I'd love to see you there as well. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!